to hear the same message. And as Ryan already told you, our message today is about our mission and what that means for each and every one of us. But we have something here that's even more important than our mission, and it's the people in this room. So part of, part of why we come together is to share that message, but a bigger part is for us to all be part of the same thing at the same time as dragons. And so that's why we start by introducing and acknowledging everybody who's here in the room who makes us the dragon community that we are. And we'll start with the reason that everybody is here, and that's our students. So what I'm gonna do is when I call your group, I want you to raise your hand while everybody else applauds you and welcomes you to the new school year. And let's start with introducing our high school students. Put your hands up and let's give them a warm welcome. There they are. Thank you. Middle school students, hold your hand up high. Welcome. And elementary students, hold your hand up the highest. And a really neat thing is something that you created last year, which is our house system. And so as we have high school, middle school, and elementary raising our hands, we see that we're all mixed together. We're not in separate schools. We're in houses together as one big community. I also want to introduce our faculty all returning a new faculty and TAs. Put your hands up, let's give them a round of applause. I want to introduce and welcome our nurse, Ms. Xu Ping. There she is, two hands. I want to welcome and introduce our counseling and college counseling team, Mr. Bishop, Ms. Dietrich, and Ms. Newman. I want to introduce and thank them for the support with our playlist and our AV, uh, Brian Meehan and the IT team. <laughs> want to welcome and recognize Daisy Chang and the front office team. <laughs> Let's welcome and recognize Ms. Candy Chu and the business office team. Let's welcome and recognize our principals, Mr. Payne, Ms. Rock, and Mr. Coyle. Let's welcome and recognize Mr. Ansel Wong and, our, and Jeff, our facilities team, who keep this place in great shape. And let's, along those notes, let's also welcome and recognize our custodial team that keeps this such a great place to learn. Let's welcome and recognize our security team that keeps us safe every day. And our dining hall team that makes sure that we are nourished and fed so we can learn.
Now, they're not in the room today, but I also want to recognize some really important people for what we do here with school at KAS, and those are parents, those are board members, that's our supportive PTA and our TPA. Let's give them a round of applause for all they do to make everything happen. So that's, that's who we are as a community. Those are the students, those are the adults here at KS. No matter what the specific job is, all of the adults are part of the same team. And that's the team that helps make sure that you as students have a good experience here. So let's talk about something that unites all of us. It's our mission, but it's also our pride, our dragon pride. And so today we're going to talk about our school mission, what that means when we say when we think big. And you'll hear from a few different people about that and why we're proud of that. Also, I do want to mention for faculty, we'll probably end at 9.45, not 9.30. So just a heads up, so you can plan accordingly for that. Sorry for that. So let's talk about Dragon Pride. Our Dragon Pride means a lot of different things. First of all, as you can see today, we're all part of something bigger than just ourselves. Here we are in the same room. This is our community. This is our Dragon Pride. We all have important things to do here, whether that is teaching or learning or making sure that we have good food and a safe campus or preparing for our futures. We all have really important things to do and we can all count on each other to be successful. That's why we're here in houses, is it's a group of people that we can count on. It's a group of people that we can depend on. It's a group of people that can help show us the ropes. Together, we all think big and that's to prepare each of you, our students, for a big future. So let's talk about BIG. Let's talk about balance. When we're balanced, what that means is that we're proud of how strong we are with our academics, our arts, and our athletics. And we're proud of how that prepares us, not just for college, but for what we'll face later in life as adults. As, let's talk about the I, for independent learners. When we talk about being an independent learner, we're not talking about learning by ourselves. We're talking about independently being motivated to learn, being passionate, finding our passions, being curious, always asking lots of questions. When we talk about being global citizens, we talk about how we dragons take pride in being aware of and acting on important issues. And if you want to see some evidence of that, look around campus and look at what student leadership and the type of changes are happening because of of students who care about and act about important issues. We take pride in being ethical and doing the right thing even when it's hard, even when it's not popular. And we take pride in cooperating and working together because again, we're stronger together than we are apart. Also, one of the things that we like to start our year talking about is what we mean at KS when we talk about respect because that's something that's important to each and every one of us. But there are so many different ways to think about respect and so many different ways to show it. And especially when we have such a big, diverse community, sometimes it can be confusing even when we're trying our best to show respect. So let's talk about what that looks like at KAS. When we think about respect, there are a lot of people and things that we show respect for, right? Our elders, our parents, our brothers, our sisters, our classmates, our teachers each other. Um, these are all uh, areas where it's important to show respect and people who we show respect for. Let's talk about some of the ways at KAS that we show respect. When we treat our classmates with kindness, when we see somebody new and we welcome them into our Dragon family, that shows respect for them as a person. That shows respect for yourself as a person and for the dignity that we all bring to our community as humans. When we choose to listen to someone who's talking to us and really listen without talking or interrupting them, just like you're doing right now, you show great respect for yourselves and for each other. When we arrive for class on time, that shows respect for our classmates, ourselves, and our teacher. When we follow the instructions from our teachers or any of the adults who are here to help you have a good education, we show respect by doing that. When we keep our environment clean, not just our school, but our city and our world. And when we, make, when we take efforts to create a cleaner world, we're showing respect for our environment. When we choose to wear appropriate clothing for school or for whatever different activities we might go to, we show respect for each other. 
it's important to remember also, we have a lot of times where we travel and go to different places, like sports competitions, or maybe even at the bus coming to school in the morning. People know who we are, and they know we represent KAS. And so when we conduct ourselves in public with respect, that is good for everybody in this room. And when we conduct ourselves where we're not showing respect, that actually hurts everybody in this room because we're all part of the same community together. So that's why it's important to ask ourselves, are we showing respect? And also we have to understand that we try our best each day and usually when we're disrespectful, it's probably not our purpose. Maybe we didn't know better or maybe we were just really upset. And that's part of the human experience. We can learn and we can grow. So when we make those mistakes, the important thing is we think about what we learned and how we can be better. So I want to thank you for the great respect you've shown me, but let's turn it over to the other people who are going to talk more about our mission, and we'll start with our principles. I want to thank you very much and wish each and every one of you a very, very good year. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. How's it going? Yeah, can I get a nice good morning from everyone? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> Outstanding. Okay, so I'm going to need a little help today. I'm going to need a little help today. I might do something that's a little different. I might do something that you're not used to. Please bear with me. High school students have patience with me. I am the elementary school principal. I need some help. I'm going to clap something first, and I want you to clap it back. Good luck. Here we go. Thank you so much. Give yourself a round of applause. Yes. So I did a short activity. I'm the new elementary school principal. My name is Jesse Coyle. And part of being balanced is having fun. I hope you enjoyed that today. I hope you enjoy school. And I hope you take the time to think about how you spend your time. I'm now going to hand it over to Mr. Barnaby Payne on the most good Thank you, Mr. Coyle. Are you OK? You seem a little bit out of breath. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. My name is Barnaby Payne. I'm honored to be the new principal of KES Middle School. And I've learned that it is one of the best middle schools in the world. So thank you for having me. I'm from San Francisco, California, USA. And I'm very happy to be in Taiwan. It's such a beautiful island. So it's my job here to hold everyone in this community to the highest expectations for academics and for personal character, and to give everyone in this room the love and support and respect that they need to be able to meet those expectations. However, because I'm new to the school, I really would like to get to know as many students as possible. So right now, I'm going to play a little game with you. It's called Two Truths and a Lie. Have you ever heard of this game, Two Truths and a Lie? Raise your hand if you've heard of this. Okay, good, good. So I'm going to say, make three statements. Two of the statements will be true, and one will be a lie. Your job is to guess the lie, and come see me after this event, and tell me which one you think it is. That way, uh, we can get to know each other, and hopefully become friends forever. Okay, so here we go, three statements. Statement number one. I went to high school with Lemony Snicket. Do you know who that is? Lemony Snicket? Some people do, some people don't. Well, we went to high school together. 
and we are good friends. Number two, have you ever heard of the Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco? Okay, so one time I swam the entire length of the bridge underneath the water in the Pacific Ocean with all of those um, sharks and fish. That's number two. Number three, when I was in college, I was in a dance crew called Too Legit to Quit. As you can see, I still have the moves. Okay, so um, come talk to me later if you want to guess. Um, thank you so much for your time, and KAS Dragons forever. Thank you. And now, high school principal is John Rock. introducing the letter B for B-I-G. Um, it stands for balanced individual, but what does it actually mean to be one? In page eight of the student handbook, the words academics, arts, and athletics are written under balanced individual. Although these are key terms that define being a balanced individual, I think there are far more qualities and characteristics that can make you one. Academics, arts, and athletics are just some examples of the things you can do inside of school. Some other things that you can do both inside and outside of school include the ability to understand our emotions and to deal with them in a healthy way, or to make more friends and connect with different kinds of people, expanding your social life, or even spending time with yourself and taking care of your mental health. These examples taken from our daily lives are just some characteristics that can make a person well-rounded and eventually becoming more and more balanced as an individual. Thank you. Hi, everyone. 
Hi. I'm Angela Young, Vice President of our High School Student Council, here to introduce to you the letter I, which stands for Independent Learner. As independent learners, we must strive to become passionate and curious critical thinkers. And though teachers are a huge part of our education, there are and will be times where we are just so passionate about a subject, we want to pursue it outside of school. Times where we want to pursue it on our own. And that's the independent learner blooming in you. For example, you might watch, watch a series of crash course videos on philosophy because you're in an existential crisis. Or that you draw for hours and hours outside of school, not because your art teacher told you to, but because you're just so passionate about creating something on your own. So really, it doesn't really matter how old you are, whether you're a senior or a kindergartner. As long as you're curious, persistent, and take accountability for your actions, you are going to take this world by storm. Thank you. and I'm here to introduce the letter G, which stands for Global Citizens. A Global Citizen is someone who self-identifies not only as a member of her school, a family, or a country, but rather as a member of our planet or probably the universe. More than that, a Global Citizen is always prepared to tackle the world's greatest problems and stand up for what they believe is right. So standing here today, we hope to promote the importance of being part of a movement of people. As the dragons of KAS, we should strive to become the kids who are willing to look up from their screens and out to the world, the global citizens. We should work hard to become the global citizens who stand together, who ask the question why, who reject the naysayers, and embrace the amazing possibilities of the world we share. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I want to once again thank William and Angela and Claire. Those were very nicely said. Thank you very much. All right, we are we're really close to being an on-time finish today. We are going to um, switch A block by just five minutes. So A block will start at 9.55 rather than 9.50. Okay, so because by the time we all get out of here, it's going to be so thank you all for being here today. Have a wonderful day. Don't go anywhere except Greenhouse. Greenhouse, you're going to go first. Okay, and we'll wait till they're mostly gone before we do. Oh, and we